you played for for the Clippers during the whole Donald Sterling situation. Yeah, I ain't gonna get into that shit, bro. You, you don't want to talk about that? No, nah, I ain't really like. I ain't really trying to get into none of this fuckboy shit. You know what I mean? Just more so talk about the show. Uh, you know, all you know, all the regular shit is cool, but just all that fuckboy shit. You know what I mean? That controversial shit. You know, I ain't, I ain't with none of that. You know what I'm saying? I got my my dog here. Want to make sure he get his shine. You feel what I'm saying? You get to know him. What we doing? But you know, fuck Donald Sterling and all that shit. Okay. You feel me? Fair enough. <laughs> How, how, how did it feel, I mean, to, to go from this type of situation? Because I guess when you were living with your grandparents, there was like up to 20 people in that house. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was uh, probably a little exaggerated number, but, you know, it's just, one, is family, right? And when you're growing up and you're growing up in the hood, the only thing you got is, you know, learning how to survive and family, whether you like them or not. And so... You know, you learn to love and hate the people that you love and hate the most, right? <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's uh, for me, it was just everybody had a different personality. And I was like a kid that was intrigued by all of it. And, you know, at the end of the day, everything became like a joke to me, right? So even the crackhead on the corner, he wasn't like, you know, like a crackhead on the corner. He was like... Man, I'm about to go talk to this dude because he probably got some funny Thanks stuff to right. say, right? So it was, you know, for for me growing up like that, I think that's why this show uh, feel the way it do, because I'm able to kind of like bring some of those elements of like my real life, you know, uh, in this show, and you know, it's all about just getting to know people and like everything, you know, just making a joke out of stuff. Well, you know, B dot, you've always done impressions. Yes, sir. Of, uh, of basketball players. Yes, sir. Uh, you've done James Harden? Oh, yeah. That was, that was by my, my most viral video. Okay, so you do James Harden. Now, now, recently on Hot 97, your man over here said that in his prime, he's better than James Harden. Are you BD? going to co-sign this? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, James my boy, but BD, BD's a dog. I grew up watching BD, you feel me? Man, why would I say I'm not? Right. Like, who, would, <laughs> who in their right frame of mind would say I'm not? Right? <laughs> Come on, dude. Line yeah, him up. B- Line B- him up. BD was, a, BD, was of, <laughs> BD was ahead of his time, man. BD played, not, and not him even being my homeboy. BD playing the NBA right now, easy 35 a game. Easy. The way he was playing was already, yeah, dog. Bucket, walking bucket to this day. Yeah, I was wired for this. I was wired oh, for yeah, like, no, this era. No, I mean, you're a beast. Absolutely. On the court, you're an absolute animal. Try it. <laughs> you know? Well, you actually played uh, one-on-one with Kobe Bryant once. When I was in college? Yeah. After I hurt my knee. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I wasn't supposed to play. Kobe Bryant came up to practice. The team was practicing. I was on the sideline. It was during the lockout, so he went to the side court, started shooting, and I started sliding my way over there to <laughs> rebound for him. Right. Knew I, wanted, you know, I knew I wanted to fade. I knew I wanted to fade. And I knew I wasn't supposed to be playing. I was like uh, maybe a month and a half, two months away from being cleared to play. And I was just rebounding, rebounding. And I was like, man, you want to, uh, want some light defense? <laughs> <laughs> and then it turned into a nice little one-on-one battle uh, with me and Kobe. I think he beat me two to one. But uh, the only reason why he beat me, though, is because he took advantage of my handicap. And mm. he backed me down. That's what he backed me down. Smart. And I, he was stronger than me. And, and that was like, you know, that's usually a dude go-to move. It's like they got to back me, you know, it's like, you know, he, he, he basically played bu- bully ball to win. But the crazy thing was, is our UCLA practice was going on and everybody on the team started crowding around our court uh, watching me and Kobe play one-on-one. It was crazy. It was epic. <laughs> well, I, uh, John Sally, he's a guest on Vlad TV a lot. And um, he said that of all the players he played with, he said that Scottie Pippen, not Michael Jordan, was the most skilled player he's ever played with. I think Scotty is more skilled than all of them. Scotty Pippen is probably the most skilled player I've ever played with. Really? Yeah. And his hands come to his shit. <laughs> okay? Standing straight up. But he just happened to be playing with Michael Jordan, so. Well, this is the deal. Michael would turn him, Scotty would get the steal. If you were to pick the most skilled player you've ever played with, who would that be? Uh, that I've ever played with? The yeah. most skilled player. 
That's tough. Who you think of? I'm thinking. Somebody who had just like straight skills. Cause you had a whole bunch of goons in that warrior team. Yeah, Everybody was, uh, did they? Yeah. I don't know. Scotty Pippen is very, very skilled though. Um, maybe Steven Jackson. Mm. Okay. Very skilled. People sleep on stack, man. Very skilled basketball player. Very, very high basketball IQ, right? Yeah, very. Yeah. 